What's up everyone? I'm Jacques Slade, an online video creator that's eternally curious. I started on YouTube 10 years ago in a garage with a green screen and a dream. Today, I have over 1.3 million subscribers. While I can tell you everything you need to know about sneakers, there is a big world out there that's begging to be explored. So come along with me as I live a day in the life of some of the most successful and engaging personalities in the world. This is Soul Swap. Today, I'm meeting up with singer-songwriter Tanache, and she sent me this box. Let's take a look inside. A water bottle, so I imagine that means we're gonna do something athletic today. A martial arts belt, okay, I'm down with that. Oh, haha. <laughs> and a microphone. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's put this back inside and go meet up with Tanache. Tanache! She sings, dances, acts, and is an all-around boss. I'm here to find out how Tanache takes creative control over her art, addresses her fears head-on, while living her life as an advocate for social justice. Hey, hey. great to see you. Good to see you, how too. How are you? I just want you to know I have like three and a half bars whenever you're ready. Oh, perfect. So uh, I'm here because uh, my job is to live the life of some of the coolest people in the world Ooh, today. Ooh, okay. And so, Are you uh, ready? I, I think so. I want to teach you some moves. I want to show you okay. some of the outfits that I've had to wear on tour. Just okay. kind of take you through what it's like to prep for a show. When you're getting ready for a show, what's that preparation like? For me, it really starts with picking out the set list, deciding what songs I want to perform, getting the music together, coming up with some steps or how I kind of envision it on the stage. And then from there, it's getting into all the little details. How do we want the stage set up? What are we going to wear? What is the lighting going to look like? What are the screens going to look like? And then integrating it all together. As an artist, it seems like you're like completing the whole experience for the fan. Totally. Jeez, that sounds so complicated. Yeah, it's That's, fun. But it's, it seems it's like it's fun. fun, like when it all comes together. Yeah. I think about like the music industry is notorious for really shaping artists into what they want the artist to be. And especially as a black woman, it seems like that can be hard trying to live up to the expectations of the music industry and really staying true to yeah. yourself. How do you balance those two worlds? I think I'm really lucky because I'm an independent artist now, so I've been able to kind of gain my footing in this industry while I was signed to a major label. I learned a lot about how the game works. Right, I learned right, a lot. Yeah. I got a lot of inside knowledge and experience, and now that I'm independent, I'm able to use all that knowledge to create the art that I really want to make. I'm just 100% in charge of that creative. I'm able to do what I want to do. I'm able to be who I want to be. I don't have to make any type of compromises or try to fit into try any box. In. Congratulations on, on being independent, seeing black entrepreneurialism. I love it. Thank I love you. It. Recently, we've gone through a lot of social justice movement, and you were a big part of that. You really kind of stepped out Thank in you. the forefront of that, of that conversation, like with the Black Lives Matter movement. How important is that to you? When it came to Black Lives Matter movement and being involved in social justice, it just felt really authentic to who I am. It seemed like it was something that was so important to me at a core level that it only made sense that I would express it in right. my art and yeah. in, you know, the platform that I've been given as a you know, public figure, yeah. <laughs> I think that's why we're here, is to be given these platforms to touch people, to make a difference, to champion it in any way that I can, and spread the message in any way that I can, use my platform, so, yeah. I respect that. You were talking about confidence, and uh, I was doing my research, because I knew I was gonna walk in your steps today. Yeah. And uh, I heard you did, like, Taekwondo as a kid. <laughs> I like, did. Like, a lot of time for kids, that's about confidence. Do you feel like yeah. that helped you a lot? That helps me frame how I look at my music and my art now. I don't feel the need to like pick and choose one thing if I'm inspired by, okay, I wanna make this right now or I wanna make something that sounds like that, then I'll just kind of go for it and follow that dream and, and see it through to fruition. And that was kind of the case with Taekwondo. Definitely just got another thing on my bucket list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's super yeah. cool, so yeah. Part of this is for me to kind of live your life for a day, yeah. so I think I'm ready. Yes, so perfect. I think you I'm, ready? Yeah, I think okay. I'm ready. I have my choreographer here. I think it'd be perfect if you learned some from the actual show. Okay. If you think you got what it takes. I, I, I think. <laughs> I think that's okay, what you Okay, cool. Were. This is my choreographer, Adrian. Hey, what up, man? How's Adrian, it going? how you doing, hey. man? He's gonna How's teach you some nice of my you. Pasadena choreography from my song Pasadena. Okay, I've been to Pasadena before, so I feel like perfect. that. I, I should knock this out pretty quickly. Good. Good. And you already, you already hit the curve. Man. Okay. You already All right. Let's Make go. Sure I'm in the Pasadena. <laughs> All right. Wait, hey, wait. Where are you going? 
Are you? I got rehearsal. But. Okay, cool. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna bring our right leg up twice as okay. we turn to the left a little bit. Okay. And as we do that, we're gonna put the arms down. So the left arm comes back, and the right goes down. Yeah. I know. Like when you dance, you gotta be like, kill the mosquito, kill the mosquito. It's and more then, like, like kill the mosquito, kill the no. Because that's a down. We want to go up, up. Oh, up. up. Yeah. It's got okay. a groove. In okay. It. Yeah. Okay. Up. Yeah, you got it. Come okay. on. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Hey, okay. there we go. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're here. Then one, two, three, four, step, step. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's not just my feet moving. My whole body has to be involved in this process. Dancing. Dan dancing. It's a, dancing. It's a whole body experience. Experience. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Five, six, whoa, seven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So fast. So fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Tanache learns very quickly. That she does do. So you live in a day in the life for her. Okay. From here. You're gonna roll, so think like a body roll. A body roll? Yeah, okay. yeah. I can do the body rolls. Yeah, body but this time too. you're gonna do it and you're gonna take it around. Oh, so body rolling, wait, mm -hmm. ooh. Am I, am, I, am I body rolling left to right or right to left? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five. Clap, clap, oh. clap. Back, front, back, front. Clap, clap, oh. clap. Oh, I just gotta focus on my feet. I'm just, I keep planting myself. It's all right, it's all right, look. You gotta, you know, you gotta keep your mind. Oh, keep right. bro, you keep focused. Don't right. get frustrated. Right. You get it. You got time. It's fine. Right. Up, up, down. Out. Think out. Yeah. Five. Let's go slow. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Clap. All right. Let's try. Let's go like real speed. Like real, real speed. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five. Clap, clap, clap. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. There we go. Yeah, OK. You getting them uh, tugs. I see them tugs. I can tug. I can tug. That's about it. You tugging. <laughs> I think this is good. That's as good as it's going to happen today. Man, step one is done, and I am tired. Who knew how much hard work and dedication it took to be a superstar? But it's part of the process. We're doing this as a day in the life. And part of that is going back to Sinashe's past to find where she centers herself in the discipline. And that's all about Taekwondo. So we're gonna go try that right now. All right, choreography is done. I feel good, I practice, I feel like I have all of my steps together. But if I'm gonna keep it a buck, I'm a little bit nervous because I actually have to perform for Tanache later, which is why I'm here at a Taekwondo studio. And Master Edward is gonna show me how to do the self-discipline that I need so that I'm not nervous and I can get all these steps down and it'll be easy peasy. So, Master Edward, I think I'm ready to go. How do I start? You're pretty much ready. Just take your shoes off and we'll get started. Shoes, yes. The, the sneakerhead in me thought that I could wear them, but obviously I can't. So, okay, I think I'm ready to start. Bao? Can you talk a little bit about the philosophies of Taekwondo? So basically, it's not just about kicking and punching. Taekwondo revolves a, a, around uh, five tenets, which is uh, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. So the, the main things is uh, basically to learn how to behave, how to treat people, how to interact with people, and then basically by working so hard on everything and just setting goals to yourself, it translates in real life where you learn how to calm down, how to focus, how to set a goal. So can we try some stuff? Tom? Sure, Let, let's, okay. let's do let's some do kicks. It. From uh, fighting sense, you're gonna pick it up as high as you can and bring it back down and you gotta yell, Kia. Okay. okay. Kia. Good. Kia. Try to go as far as possible to the outside. <laughs> okay. Kia. Okay. Kia. 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 Tai Kwan Tum. Kia. All right, very well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to some board breaking. Okay. 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 So uh, let me show you. All right. So we, we have we have some boards right here. I'll show you how to break this and not to hurt yourself. Okay. Okay. So first one, what we're going to do is we're going to do a hammer fist. So uh -huh. fighting stance. Fighting stance. Okay. Close your fist strong. Fist and close. then what you're going to do is uh, from here you're gonna step in. You're gonna pick your fist up, step, and just punch all the way through. Hit the so, board. Okay. So step. And punch yep. all the way through. Okay. Yes. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, let's see. Whenever you're ready, just when you hit it, hit it hard and loud. Kia. Okay. Kia! 
One more time. Just hit it harder. Okay. All the way through. Okay. <laughs> yeah! Perseverance, I think that's the hardest one because you gotta just keep pushing through it. Doesn't matter how how hard it is, it doesn't matter how many times you fail until you succeed. One more time. Yeah. Good job. All right. Nice. And okay. Now what we're going to do is same way, but we're gonna do a axe kick. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna pick your leg up. And then, uh, so same way, fighting sense, you're gonna pick your leg up, up, and then down, and key up. Okay. okay. All right, let's see, ready? Okay. Yeah! Good job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank Very you. Well, good job. Wow. Uh, Master Edward, thank you so, so much. This was incredible. Like, I, I've never learned this before, so this was like my first opportunity to really get a, a piece of this world. And now I kind of understand the discipline that Tanasha has, the, the perseverance that she has. Like, it all comes to play just in practicing Taekwondo, and you are an amazing instructor. So thank you, thank you. Master Edward. Thank you so much. Great job. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm tired. It's, it's a, <laughs> well, we're just getting started. It's a lot. It's honestly, I'll say this: like I knew a lot of work went into what you were doing. Yeah. But this was more than I expected, and I have a whole new level of respect for what you do. Like for Thank sure. You. Thank 100%. you. One hundred percent. Thank you. I see we have some wardrobe here. Yep. Uh, that goes into the process as well. Yeah. I didn't even think about what I'm going to wear. Is all of this custom? Yeah, like the silver boots. Okay, so that's what. Wait. That's taller than you. Oh yeah, my God. you know. <laughs> they go oh up to my, my boots. Oh my God. You dance in heels? I, okay, I you can don't barely have to do dance that today. in tennis shoes, so <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. Good vibes. You know what? This does give you an energy. Right? It and does then you're give like, you an energy. I'm here. Yeah, I feel like I can just like come out to the middle of the stage. Yep. And just be like, bun, bun, bun. Exactly. So I like to switch up my outfits, you know, show to show. So we got mm -hmm. like a purple version as well. You know, it's very much giving purple rain. Yeah, purple rain kind of vibes. You know? I feel that. I feel that energy. Then this last one, I think this chartreuse number is really cute too. So chartreuse. Chartreuse. You know, it's very on trend this season. It, it, Fashion wise, I love it. It really is. That. So we got this. This is like a nice little moment on stage, and she's sheer so the lights can shine through it. It's like purposeful. Like it's not just like, oh, I'm wearing something cool. I'm wearing totally. something that kind of gives me like an energy or a vibe. Yeah, I mean, well, when we're on stage and we're doing a show, we're translating that story like we talked about earlier. You really have to sell the energy that the song is bringing to the audience. So I think a lot of my songs have that kind of like bad bitch energy. So a lot of my outfits are giving bad bitch. I like it. You know, it's it's super important to feel your best self when you're on stage. This, you just this, embody it. I feel like I'm in theater. I feel like I should be like, and then the fall. Exactly. I feel that. Like I just feel. See, I just, all we have to do is mood. throw this on you, and you're like already a different person. Yeah, it gives you it gives you a mood. Think you could rock this? I think I could do that. Well, okay. I'll let you change. Wait, and then it's time for your big on? performance. You want me to perform in this? Yes. I'll be waiting um, for you at the stage. Okay. All right, see ya. Any, any advice? You just, just keep walking just off, huh? Just keep leaving me by myself. It's <laughs> fine. I'm okay with that. Yo. Wow. I know, look at it. Looking good. Yeah, it's a vibe. I like the energy yes, here. Yes, you look amazing. Thank you. You know what? I put these on and I felt like a totally different person. Yeah, gets you in a character, right? Yeah, like like I see why like the hood and all that stuff you were talking about, it really puts you in a certain kind of place. Totally. I it brings it. it out. It makes it easier to perform. Right, absolutely. So are you ready absolutely. for your performance? I, th I think I am. I, I worked on it. I worked on it a lot, uh, probably more than you work on it, but I worked on it <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit. And I feel like I, I feel like I'm ready. I think I'm ready. It, All right. It's a little nerve wracking. I'll be honest to you do it in this. front of you. You got this. You like, got this. this. No pressure. Thing. No, no pressure? pressure. Okay. All right. You know, All right. just yeah. just have fun. All right. Have Let's a good time. It. Hit it. Here we go. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Oh that my was god. Fire. I don't I cannot explain to you how nervous that makes oh me. Oh my gosh, in front you did so good. But you do, you get into character and like thinking about this, like 
how do you do this and sing at the same time? Like, <laughs> I, that was just a little bit, and I'm yeah. tired yeah. already. You know, I think just practice, honestly. I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. We do rehearse a lot. I have done so many shows, right. and I think that the only way that you can really practice for like being in the moment on stage is on stage. Yeah. Because there's a whole other adrenaline factor that kicks in yes. as well. Yes. And <laughs> you give it way more energy than you would ever give it in a rehearsal setting. 100%, because it was different when I was practicing practicing to when it just happened just yeah. now, it's it's a totally different vibe, totally different energy. Totally. You know, I, I am blown away by how much work you do, the fact that you sing, the fact that you dance, all at the same time. You gotta worry about the lights, <laughs> about the stage and the audience. Like, I didn't even have to worry about the audience. I didn't have to be like, everybody wave your hands. Hey, I'm the audience. Uh, yeah, you are the audience. Everybody you wave your it. hands, wave your hands. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for coming to rehearsal and Absolutely. like checking out the vibes. I think there's like one more thing that maybe you could get into just okay. to get really involved in my life. Okay. You know, I love to be involved in the community. I right. think that that's really important. So how do you feel about maybe going and speaking with some Black Lives Matter community leaders? I think that'd be like a really great way to just get to know like a day in my world. Like just the like full the full day picture. Experience. I thought it was just music and dancing, but you know what? If it's gonna give me a more complete picture of what you do and what it's like to be you. I'm all for it. Let's get it. Let's do it. Sounds good. All right, we just finished our performance, and now I'm going to go speak to some BLM organizers. In 2020 alone, Tanache participated in nine Black Lives Matter protests between LA and DC. Today, she continues to communicate social messages through her art and public platform. By sending me to meet with BLM LA chapter representatives Megan and Joseph, I'm hoping it will give me a better picture of Tanache's commitment to being a community advocate. So let's go inside and meet the organizers. I just want to say thank you guys for joining me today, Joseph, Megan. When it comes to Black Lives Matter, it means different things to different people. What does it mean to you two individually? I work in education, I work with youth. That intersects with the, the Black Lives Matter work that we do as we push for police-free schools. Um, and it's super personal, you know, for me um, as, as somebody who was incarcerated as a, as a youth out of schools um, and knows, you know, the fact that we need different resources and supports in our school system for our kids and not cops and criminalization. In reality, it's an affirmation for black folks to really understand the fullness of their selves, right? And the way that that shows up for me is making sure that we're organizing folks to organize themselves, right? So one of the things that we're really heavy into right now is budget interrogation, right? So this idea of justice reinvestment, we're investing our dollars into things that actually make a difference, right? Into things that actually keep us safe. So thinking about Black Lives Matter, a lot of it is seen through the eyes of protesting. And it can be a scary thing. What are some of the things you recommend for people that have a fear of protesting? I'm always reminded of a Frederick Douglass quote, power concedes nothing without demand, right? And so, you know, if we see that there are things that are going on in the world that are wrong, that are unjust, and we know you know, that it's not gonna change without us demanding it. And then for me, it's, and we say this often in, in BLM, it's like our, our sacred duty. It's so important to organize ourselves to take power and ownership over our movement, our demands, our lives. And so that's, that's part of what protesting is. There's a way that you're supposed to protest where you're not putting yourself or others in harm's way. Um, I think it's kind of what we pride ourselves on as far as Black Lives Matter goes, right? We're making sure that we are keeping each other safe. Um, that's one of our core principles. Now, we all face adversity in our own lives. What are some moments of adversity in your own lives and how did you overcome them? I was arrested when I was 13, um, you know, and, and charged with assault and battery. And most of my freshman year of high school, I was either in a, in a jail cell or on house arrest. And I was blessed to be surrounded by folks who really poured into me love and resources and support. And I also saw, you know, coming out of that experience that so many of our kids, so many kids that I was locked up with at that age were not getting that same thing. Having had the blessing, the privilege to get out of that experience, to have gone through and, and to overcome that really also made me feel like a responsibility to advocate to change some of these systems. I lost a close friend of mine, Kenny Watkins, to police violence. He was shot in the back at the age of 18. And so I knew then that I had to do something. I had to support right, first his family, but also think about, well, how do I prevent this from happening to someone else? It was a reality check for me, for sure. Um, and it was the way that I kind of came into this work. 
for me, when I think about adversity, it, it's not necessarily like tied to black lives, but it is. It's just growing up very, very poor. Like borrowing electricity from the neighbor is kind of poor. Mm -hmm. Like just to make it to make it through that, you know, and like as a kid, that's tough. Yeah. It gave me a heart of empathy mm -hmm. for, for those that are less fortunate and to, to to be able to be in a position today to be able to help them and to be able to help people and to be able to provide resources to people. Um, it's just a huge blessing. I'm thankful. So thank you guys for sharing your story. I almost got emotional there. <laughs> it took, took me back a little bit to, to those moments in my life. This was great. I see why Tanache had me come and speak to you guys um, because it's much bigger um, and there's bigger moments and um, you guys are living those moments. So thank you. I appreciate it. You know, living a day in the life of someone, it's not as easy as I thought it would. Oh, message from Tanache. Hey, Jack, it's me again. I just wanted to say thank you so much for going on this whole journey with me. I know that you've had a blast today. We got to really get inside my world and it was super, super fun for me and super special for me to see you. You know, try on the outfits, learn the choreography. You killed it. I think you really got a chance to embody everything that it means to be in my shoes. So thank you so much for having me. Bye. That, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Tanache. Living the day in the life of someone, we all have our expectations of what that might be. We see them on TV, we see them on movies, and we assume how easy their life is. But none of us really have it easy at the end of the day. We all have our own obstacles. We all have our own hurdles. We all have our own challenges that we must go through to be who we want to be and to get to being the best versions of ourselves. Today, that was Tanache showing me that it's not just about the stage, it's about the creativity, it's about living in the moment and being the best version of herself for not only the audience and the fans, but for her. Because that's what's important, being the best version of you for you. And that's really what this show is about. Digging deep, finding out their why, and finding out how they live their lives. This is Soul Swap with Jacques Slade. Beautiful.